That today. Well, protests will continue in the Circle City now for a sixth straight day. And our Alexa Green is live downtown now at Monument Circle with a preview of the protests planned today. Good morning, Alexa. Good morning to you, Ray. Protesters tell us they plan on gathering every single day this week until their voices are heard. They tell us they want to see systemic change within IMPD and other police agencies. Today, those demonstrators, along with other groups, will protest, along with also holding prayer services. Now, one of those uh, event starts at six tonight. That's going to be a march for justice, and the event is called White Coats for Black Lives. It will begin at the Greenway between Eskenazi Hospital and Riley Hospital. Now, yesterday we saw a smaller group of protesters on the streets of Indianapolis, but their message was just as strong. They were out peacefully protesting. Some even out past last night's curfew that began at nine. Now, at times, we saw officers fist bumping and shaking hands as protesters walked by. And yesterday, we told you about this remarkable scene that unfolded Monday night. Officers joining with protesters side by side and walking together for a block. The organizer tells us it's a step in the right direction, but their work isn't done yet. I hope they took away that... that that we are, we are nonviolent protesters and we have a message that we want heard and we want it sent and that we're not going to give up. We're not going to be appeased um, by walking with by two cops walking with us. We're not going to be qualmed by that. It, it's it's immediate systemic change that we want. Also today, the State House will host a prayer service for the city beginning at 1130. Elected officials and community leaders will meet at the City Market Plaza. And then in Carmel, a prayer service also is scheduled for today where the mayor will speak. We're still waiting to find out what time that will happen. Back here at Monument Circle, things for the most part still relatively quiet. Again, those protesters set to arrive here around 430 this afternoon. Of course, we will have crews with them all throughout the evening and we'll have much more later on tonight. That's the latest downtown. Alexa Green, Fox 59 News.